All right, what's up, Clemson Nation, NTTC? Guys, we got a lot to talk about since last time I made my video. I made my video after the contract came out with the ACC about how much money we'd be making in that $17 million figure, which is backloaded, so Clemson will only make $1 million more next year, which would, which this year will be making $14 million, which is way less than most conferences um, will be making in the future when they get their new contracts signed and all that. And uh, the day after I made my last video, I think it was when the Florida State Board of Trustees guy spoke out on the ACC and this new contract and pointed out some flaws with it. Um, you know, so they've pretty much gone public. They're not really handling this situation too well. I guess it is to let Swafford know that they are unhappy, which I know Clemson's unhappy too. Um, and, you know, if Clemson and Florida State leave, which there is like, there's probably about a 60-70% chance that Clemson and Florida State are leaving this conference because of what's happened today when the SEC and the Big 12 signed a contract for another big bowl and the ACC's recently signed a contract for a bowl in, uh, where is it, UTEP Stadium? You know, that's what we're getting. Our second and third place teams will be playing in Arizona and uh, Texas, El Paso. So, um or California, wherever the other bowl is. So the ACC is every day becoming less and less relevant. In the future, there is no hope at all for the ACC football in the future. Um, Clemson and Florida State are pretty much out the door. If we stayed, you know, I don't, I don't think there's any chance Florida State is staying in the ACC at all. Swafford is not doing anything to meet any needs. Notre Dame is definitely not going to come to the ACC after these new, these new bowl arrangements and all that's going on. There's no way ACC gets uh, Notre Dame, so there's no new football schools that will come to the ACC. Uh, you know, maybe y'all can get Louisville and Cincinnati after Clemson leaves because, or Clemson and Florida State leave because there's such a little chance that Clemson and Florida State are coming back. So many people out there talking about it, and um, Florida State's pretty much made it public that they don't like their comp, like what's going on in the conference. Clemson's board of trustees member said we will do what's ever best, whatever's best for Clemson. He's looking at the, uh, he's looked at the contract. He's had a bunch of people come. We've been in talks with uh, the Big Twelve unofficially. I've heard since uh, February when Clemson made its uh, conference. You know what was it? Our little committee that will look at conference expansion and what's best for Clemson and uh, what conference we should go to. So that's been out for a while, and um, you know. If you're a football school in the ACC, there is really not much hope for the ACC in the future. I know y'all are all saying, oh, well, our teams will get better. Well, it's too late. It's too late. Our teams made our mistakes. It's too late. There's no going forward from this. Uh, we will be left behind by a substantial amount in the ACC. If you stay, you will not have the money to compete on the national level um, that you'll need to be competing on. So if, if Clemson and Florida State leave, which they probably will, you better get on your high horse and get out of there. Any other football schools left Miami. Georgia Tech and Miami might come to the Big 12 with Clemson. I've just heard, you know, that's rumors. Clemson and Florida State is pretty much almost fact, but, uh, you know, there's so many rumors going around right now, you don't even, you don't even know what to believe. Um, you know, and there's a, a Clemson player, a few Clemson players that have talked about it. You know, I've heard the staff's been notified. One of Clemson's football players... Now has changed his Twitter name to, uh, what was it, something about the Big 12. Um, I can't really remember what it is, but, you know, he's he's made a new Twitter name about the Big 12, like going to the Big 12 or something. And uh, I, I think that some of the, I think that the players and the coaches already know somewhat. Now, like I said, I'm not sure on any of this. I'm just hearing what I'm hearing from everybody else and some pretty well-known sports people have talked about it too. And ESPN sets seems dead set against Florida State and Clemson leaving because they just signed this contract, which gives everything to ESPN. Anything ES, uh, ACC had besides Raycom Sports, which is Swafford's, run by Swafford's son. Swafford saved that terrible company who just does a horrible job at broadcasting our games. He saved them for his son's sake. So there's another selfish move by Swafford. We really don't need Raycom. With the Big 12, you have ESPN and Fox instead of ESPN and Raycom. So, you know, there's another reason to leave. Um, there are a few Clemson fans who have, I've seen on some message boards and stuff that have been just completely hell-bent against leaving the ACC. And, uh, you know, I suggest some of you guys read up on, you know, what's happening to the ACC and what has happened, where the future of the ACC is, because there is no future for the ACC in football anymore. 
Um, you know, it, back in January, I was skeptical about joining the Big 12. I was skeptical about leaving the ACC. I didn't know, you know, there was a lot of cons and um, not, I mean, there were some pros, but not as many. And, and as all this has come out, the the pros have just overwhelmed the cons of leaving the ACC. And um, if if you want to stay relevant, you know, if you want to just focus on basketball, then you can stay in the ACC and you will be fine because they're going to merge with the Big East. The Big East is pretty much dead in football already. ACC is going to be dead once all this stuff starts in 2014. Even if Clemson and Florida State stay, they will be left behind money-wise. So there really is no reason to stay, especially if Florida State in such a deficit. So, you know, I just wanted to update this, guys. I'll have more stuff coming out. I'll have a baseball video about where Clemson will end up, uh, what regional they'll go to, how we perform in the ACC tournament. Um, we just took the series from number one Florida State last weekend, and we beat Furman. We lost Wake Forest yesterday. We're playing some more. So that's it, guys. Um, we'll see what happens.